In this video, we're going to be going over the mirror tool. So that can be found in the duplicate tab mirror right here. So what this does, let's go ahead and drop a cube, turn our wireframe on, and we'll just grab this cube, move it over to the left. Let's do something a little bit funky to it so we know that it's our cube. There we go. So if I go to the front view, I don't necessarily need to do this, but I just want this line to be nice and black. This is kind of the center line. So this is, again, right here is the world center. So with the mirror tool, how this is going to work is any geometry you have on one side of the given axis is going to be mirrored over to this side. So go to duplicate, hit mirror, and let's just apply. So again, this shape has been mirrored and is over here. So let's go ahead and delete this shape out. So again, let's look at the properties of this mirror tool. So I left click. Again, nothing is selected, so technically everything is selected. So it says all polygons. So the mirror tool is going to behave and be effect and, and affect all polygons in my scene. And it's going to mirror it across the x-axis, angle zero, center zero, all the all these guys set to zero. That's usually how you're going to want to keep it. I hit apply, spacebar drop the tool and it mirrors it. So technically I could grab this, move it up, hit mirror, and now I want to mirror it up and down, so that would be the y-axis, hit apply, and now both things get sent down. So again, this whole shape is getting mirrored from one side to another. So another cool thing that can happen, let's drop another cube. Let's actually slice it going this way uniformly and let's start pulling out this shape maybe start modeling on it something like this at this point I have things on this side and this side so if I mirror this across again I want to keep this on the x-axis 99% of the time you're going to want to leave this on the x-axis if I was to hit apply, it's kind of goofy because anything over here will get flipped over here. So how we want to use this tool is we actually want to have a center line, so an object that goes right along this y-axis. And we'll actually switch to polygon mode and just delete everything on the left side of our screen. So from here, mirror, everything set to zero, hit apply. Now it mirrors any geometry over here, over to here. So think of all the things that are symmetrical, like a pickup truck, a person, um, animals. A lot of things are symmetrical left and right. So again, you only have to really model one half, and then you can mirror the other half over. So again, mirror tool is really, really powerful.